Avocados is something that I have wrestled with for a very long time to make work in a drink. Listen, the obvious is to take avocados, you put it in a blender with tequila, but does it really taste like avocados? Or is it just like a consistency thing? And for me, I want to taste the flavor. I want to see how I can get the flavor of something, right? So I kind of, I'm pretty much, I'm still, I'm still going to chase it. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to still, I will crack that code one day. But in the meantime, because we live in, because we live in California, because we are known for having avocados, because there are so many amazing farmers here, uh, one in particular, JJ's Lone Daughter, which is out of Redlands, which is about, about an hour uh, east of here in Los Angeles. They just have unbelievable avocados, so many different varieties. So for me, I actually make guacamole very regularly, especially when I'm doing my dinners. It's also an incredible snack. It's also just a really cool thing to make with cocktails, you know, something that's easy to make, something that you don't have to cook a whole meal. Like maybe you're just having somebody over for a happy hour. You're not having a whole dinner. Maybe you just say, hey, come by for a couple of drinks. You just want to make them a snack. But I make this a lot for my evenings. So I want you to see just how easy it is to make and you don't really need anything special. Now, probably where you are, if you're not in California, you probably will have a, a California avocado and most likely you'll have a variety called a Haas, H-A-S-S. -S. Very common, very good, very good for guacamole. There's different avocados that I use, whether it's for eating. I love the bacon avocados it's called. It's a really good eating avocado that kind of has a nice water essence. There's also the Pinkerton uh, that I love to grill. So those, those I use for grilling. But one of my favorite is, and I don't know if this is something you can get, but the Haas are fine. Um, this is something called the Black Beauty that I get from JJ's Lone Dollar. And it's just a really creamy, unbelievable avocado. So I just want to show you just a really simple recipe to do with this and kind of a fun way to eat it and make it exciting and to kind of add with what you're doing. So um, we're going to take an avocado. Now usually what you do, because most of them have pits, there's a few that don't have pits or the pits are really small, but you're going to definitely fill in that. So what I'll do is I'll cut all around it. And then what you do is if you just start turning it, just how, see how easily that just slid like that. And now this one's a little bit on the bruised side. So what we're going to do, you want to make sure that you take some of that. Listen, this is still great to eat and I will eat it. But in terms of a looking guacamole, most people won't really want that in there. So let's just get that trimmed out. Okay. And then we'll do, and then what you do is you'll take this and just to, an easy way to make that out is you'll start cutting slices down. Don't go through the skin at the bottom. And then you'll cut the opposite way. And now you have a really easy way that when you spoon those out, there's another spoon here, that that will just kind of fall right out. See? See how great that is? And you're kind of not wasting. Now this is something that the skin on this is actually really, really good. So I love actually eating the skin. And if you're lucky, you actually get an avocado that doesn't break up, right? Let's put that to the side here. And let's do the same thing with this one here. So we'll take that seed out. Take this. Again, I'm, I'm going to eat this, but a guest probably won't like to see that. Um, just a little bit of over-ripeness. And sometimes you get that if it's bruised. And again, we'll cut those slices. Again, if you can somehow get the avocado out and maintain the shell, because if we're lucky, we'll use this shell as your vessel for the guacamole, okay? Which would be really unbelievable, because what happens is now you can have kind of a nice little vessel for this. This is really a, uh, an amazing avocado. I think this one came out a little bit better. Now what I do for this is real simple. I take Malden sea salt, Malden sea salt, those big flakes. Well, let's mash that up. Let's give it a little mash first. 
Some people like to keep it chunky. Some people look a little bit more smooth. That's totally up to you. I do like to have some consistency to it. So we'll put a little bit of Malden salt. Usually I'll do a couple pinches. And you can also, you know, taste to see. And then instead of chopping up onion, because sometimes the pieces of onion kind of get in the way of the bites, I just love using a little bit of onion powder. So I'll spray a little bit of in that. You can see it probably comes out to about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. And then I just use fresh lime juice, and I'll do a tablespoon per each avocado. And then you can always taste it, right, and see. So I'll spread that around. And that's pretty much the essence of the guacamole, okay, for me. Let's just see that. I'll take the back of this and try it. Mm, perfect. You don't need anything more than that. It's perfect. But because I have another amazing farm out here, I'm going to chop up. Now, you could, you could put raisins on top, pine nuts on top. Uh, different nuts if you wanted to. You could get creative with it. I'm going to put some smoked plums on top. But what I'm probably going to do, and let me grab a nice vessel here. I think this would be really cool because if, if you could get this back into the shell, then that would be fabulous, right? So let's, what I'll do is, I've got that mix in. I love the flavor of it. And then what I'm going to do is put it back into the shell. This is such a perfect snack, right? And then we'll cut up these smoked plums here. Maybe I'll cut maybe seven or eight of them to put on top. So what this is, this is a Santa Rosa plum. It happens to be uh, one of my favorite plums that, from this one farm, Windrose. And what you do is, if you have a smoker, and I think they use a smoker, they use cherry wood, you actually put this in the smoker and you get the smoke essence on it, right? So you're smoking it in the smoker. I think, it's, I think they do it for about two to three hours, um, sometimes longer. And then what you do is, after that's been smoked and the flavor's in there, then you can use a dehydrator, one of the ones that I use that's just, you know, $40 that you can get online. And then you actually just put that in the dehydrator at 165, let it sit for eight hours, and you actually have a dried plum. And these are wonderful to put on top, you know. So we'll do a little bit of that. Um, and then what I like to do is you've seen me dehydrate different oranges and slices and stuff like that. These become an amazing cracker. So what I'll do is I'll put these as the, these are my crackers for it. The flavor of these orange slices, again, they're dehydrated for six to eight hours in a dehydrator at 165. You can also just do the little chip like that. And for me, it's like, okay, here's a really cool, like, if I, and what I like to do is, if people sit down, then again, you could use a nice little vessel for this, right? You can use a nice, I, I like using this, you could use a salt slab. But what's cool is I happen to have some flowering cilantro too. And you can kind of put that on top, right? Put maybe like three little sprigs of that. You could use any herbs you want, just make it look pretty. But for me, what I like is when people come, and let's say, they're not having dinner with me. I want to have a really simple snack that's really delicious and beautiful. And now what I can do is people maybe sit on each side and maybe they have their cocktail and now they have a little bit of a snack that they can have because maybe they're just stopping by for an hour or two. So there you go. This is my take on a guacamole. It's very, very simple and delicious. You can add anything you want to it, but I don't think you can go wrong with that base. It's avocado, Malden sea salt, a little bit of lime juice, and uh, onion powder. So, enjoy.